Hello there, all my littles. It's time for story time with Auntie Mer. And today, this is a special day. This is a book that I know very well, but I never actually owned a copy, so I ordered a copy after I received several requests, but especially from a little boy who is in Ottawa. So this one is going out to him, but I think the rest of you are certainly going to enjoy it because it is hilarious. This is the day the crayons quit. The day the crayons quit. All right, I'm gonna put my reading glasses on here. I'm actually gonna take the sleeve right off because it's easier that way. All right, this one is by Drew DeWalt and the pictures whoop, are by Oliver Jeffers. You can tell already it's gonna be funny when the cover has a joke. All right. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. You see that? It says to Duncan. Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizards hats, but it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I'm neither. I am beige and I am proud. I am also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that brown gets all the bears, ponies, and puppies, while the only things that I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when is the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals. <sighs> Baby penguins are gray, you know. So are tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, gray crayon. hope you're laughing. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using on. White! If I didn't have a black outline, you probably wouldn't know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill in empty space between other things, and it leaves me feeling well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. And this picture says, White Cat in the Snow by Duncan. <laughs> Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. 
It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in all the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask your friend, Black Crayon? Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. My loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful Coloring Things Green career so far. The second reason I write to you is for my friends, Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel that they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need to tell you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we're no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun in your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Uh oh. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because Thursday you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island page and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? Ha! Your pal and the real color of the sun, orange crayon. Oh my goodness. Which one do you think it is? What do you use to color in the sun? All right, it's both. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I'm so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, blue crayon. Can you see him there? He's so short because he's using him so much. Oh boy, everyone's favorite. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes, help! your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. Now let me just hold this up so you can see it. Look at all that coloring. So creative and colorful. Stayed inside the lines. Didn't use too much blue. I don't know if Peach is still naked or not though. And he got an A plus for creativity. Wow. I knew it. I knew you'd like that one the day that the crayons quit. Well, that's it from me, but I hope you enjoyed hearing a funny story today. Which color is your favorite? Hmm. 
Mine changes all the time, but purple is usually my favorite. All right, that's it from me. Talk to you next time on Storytime with Auntie Mary. All right, keep being good, everybody. Bye-bye.